to with my kit as you can see I'm all dressed up to do the bees so I'm gonna check up and see how they're doing Not building much honeycomb yet. You can see that's relatively empty. They're putting a little bit of comb along the edges. Here's the queen excluder. So the queen can't get up to where we're doing the honeycomb. It's looking very busy. Lots of bees. Very busy bees. You can see that comb is getting very tied in together to, from this to this one. You can see very close. So I'll have to have a look. Fish that out. I'm also going to see if I can see the queen or not. But it's a lot more active than it was when I came a little while ago. About a week or so ago. You can see the difference. This is capped brood, the cap is raised, and this is capped honey. This is honey here, and that's a brood. And those might be queen cells. drones you can see there's another one right there there he is Did you see right there big big and fat not big long and skinny like a queen I don't see a queen yet they're so big these drones you can see him right there or the males I don't know what they're called the male bees loads of honey on her. Uh, sorry, pollen. There's uh, loads of pollen on her. There's a drone with a wing problem. Do you see right there? Do you see its wings are deformed right there? That's the sign of Varroa. But it's the first one that I've seen. So it means there isn't a huge Varroa. There is a Varroa problem, but not a huge one. More drones. hatching. There. Can you see right there? A honeybee is hatching. It's just coming out. I don't know if you can see that. Its little head is its eating its way out of its um, cell. Just right there. You can see they're very cross with me. And these ones are very cross with me, all on the outside, defending their territory. These are settling down because I finished working on them. But I just finished working on these guys and they're still very pissed off. Very cross beans. 